Joel back with you. Let's talk today about Mars and Uranus conjunct in sinistry. So this is like a crackling attraction when we have this, but it is something that is actually really blendable. It doesn't create like an explosive uh, kind of scenario between two people. It's um, it's something where the, the energies and impulses between the two people are so on the same page that we see very little friction as a result of this particular conjunction. A lot of excitement, but it um, it's something that tends to add to the already existing energy or uh, uh, flow of the Mars person. So it is something that um, will lead to less formalities between two people in a sexual relationship. Uranus tends to make things uh, accepting and it's an open influence. So when we have this meeting um, in a conjunction in synastry, the Mars person tends to feel that there is a lot of acceptance and a lot of uh, the ability to easily relate to the Uranus person. So there's this naturalness that exists between the two people. And um, it allows the Mars person to kind of let it all hang out and to have this real comfort comfortable level of expression that Uranus is always encouraging of. So Uranus is always, uh, you know, enough of it, a good dose of it, not too much and not too little and the right amounts is very, very helpful in a relationship. And always 11th house stuff is going to be very, very helpful as well. So it, um, it leads to people to uh, have a lot of the same ways in which they like jump up and react to things. And, and our impulses don't tend to rub each other the wrong way. So there's, uh, you know, there's a lot to be said for um, getting along at the level of, you know, wanting to jump up and uh, respond to the same stuff or we get excited about the same things and, and uh, you know, that goes a long way when it comes to our everyday experience of each other being, you know, very compatible. So it's um, something that does pave the way towards a quicker experience of a sexual relationship as well. Most Uranus contacts are going to do that, not all of them, but most of them to the personal planets are going to do that to the sexual planets because of the ways in which we don't require each other to jump through as many hoops as we usually do for other people because there's this ease of uh, a feeling like we get to be ourselves or we get to express ourselves as as, it, as we really are and we tend to, to jump at that chance and so when we have permission to to be ourselves that's really valuable in a relationship and um, this conjunction doesn't tend to contribute to problems between two people and um, it, it it does show that there, there's a certain amount of tolerance when it comes to, again, how our impulses and our reactions and how we go after things, um, that blends in such a way that we aren't stepping on each other's toes. And so we have an easier time uh, in our everyday experience of each other. So hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com, Facebook, Instagram, other social media at Truth and Aspect Astrology. Yes, I am a consulting astrologer. I'm mainly a relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I interpret all types of charts. Please find me over on Patreon and support me over there so I can make more videos for you more often. And I'll be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye.